that some people praise is a near way. And you can't get it until you finish pay for it. But because I know that my praise is paid for it.
And I, uh, I told her last night that Minister Monique is my rib. And she's not a spear rib. She's a prime rib. <laughs> Hallelujah. And I told her that the way how I live in public, I want to live in private. Because some people, they treat people well on the street. But when they go home, we are talking about heal my homes. I told you, I told you yesterday, I did not came to create any trouble. But Bishop told me to say what the Lord laid on my heart to say. And I'm not saying you are here, but if you are here, I hear you are here. Amen. I bring you greetings from St. Martin, New Light Faith Ministry, Pastor Stephen Gale and his beautiful wife, Pastor Gary Brown, over here in Naples, Florida. Greetings. Greetings. Let's get down to work. I am like Bishop Whitaker. Uh, I am not so much a public speaker when it comes out to preaching. I just want to get out of the way. And uh, I want to be very mindful tonight that you have to go to work tomorrow. So I will not hold you long. Mm -hmm. I told you yesterday morning that my spiritual vocabulary is very wide. So I can keep you all night. But uh, I want to be mindful tonight that you are working people. So I'm going to, you know, see if I could show some sympathy like I have conscience. Hallelujah. <laughs> Bibles with me to uh, Jeremiah chapter 29. One verse there that we all know. We, we can quote it. We, 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 we write it down all over. We, we sing it in song. We pray it. We, we put it in poem. Hallelujah. But we want to look at it tonight. Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. When you find it, you could stand. Praise God. This one is on you. If you stand again, it's on you. And for those of you who do not have a Bible, it's on the screen. Come, let's read together. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, say the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil. To give you unexpected, unexpected end. Can we read that one more time? For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, say the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Father, we thank you for your word tonight. The entrance of your word give it light and it give it understanding to the simple. May I decrease now and you increase. I ask you for revelatory knowledge. Father, that when we have come to the end of this service, we'll be very mindful to give you the honor, the glory, and the praise. We pray that your presence will saturate this place. We come against every uninvited guest tonight that come to oppose this word. For the word will not return unto you void, but it shall go forth and accomplish. For your word have already settled in the heaven. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but your word shall in no wise pass away. So we ask you know God that you will arise in this house and cause all of your enemies to be scattered. We drive out every forces of godness. We pull down every diabolical forces and we say God take preeminence over this room tonight in the name of Jesus. Heal, deliver, set free, turn around, give dreams, vision by the power and the spirit of God and let the church say Amen. Glory to God. Amen. You may be seated. Jeremiah 29 and verse 11 is a very unique verse 
of scripture in the Bible. It speaks of oh God of our best interest at heart. He even goes on to say, I will never leave you. Neither will I forsake you. He goes on to say, if your mother and father forsake you, then I will take you up. That's the God who we serve. So tonight we are embarked upon a journey. Heal my wound. So I do not bleed on others. We spoke last night a little about the internal bleeding. Because many people can identify when things are going wrong externally. Hallelujah. They see they, you, you, you miss up. They see your mistake, your disappointment. Because it is visible. But what about those things that you cannot see that is hiding in the premise of your heart? That's why the Bible said the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? But the Bible tells me, say, God try it the hearts, and he knows what is in the mind of the spirit, for he make an intercession for us. If the church is going to be effective in this um, season of society, the church must be empty. The church is sick. The church is bleeding. The church is embryoing. But I come to tell you, if you are going to turn Cayman upside down, there must be a place of healthiness. Heal my wounds. Heal. Heal. Heal my wounds. So I don't bleed at others. When, 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 I, when I came in, I, I met a guy, Bishop, by the name of David. And, and as service was going on, he walked through the door. And, and, and David was rejected by his father. He, 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 was, he was like a castaway. David had a lost problem. He was anointed, but he had a spirit of loss. And because David never deal with that spirit, it trickled down and is generated. It trickled down. Hallelujah. David, it run down into the family. And the Bible said, I'm not raped. His sister came out. Hallelujah. He said, Hallelujah. Not only that. Not only did Amnon rape him, the Bible said Absalom, after two years, if you don't deal with that animosity, years will come and you still have it in your heart. After two years, when you think that Absalom should have forgotten what Amnon did, the Bible tells me that he told his servant, we tell Amnon, drink Roman Mary. <laughs> Hallelujah. Some people they are laugh with you when they are planning your demise. Hallelujah. Not everybody celebrate you. Really mean your good. Not everybody kiss you. Really mean your good. Some people kiss you and they want to crucify. So the Bible said that, that Absalom allowed his servant to kill Amnon, his own brother. Not only that, Absalom now pursuing after David life because he wants to take control of the kingdom. And the Bible said Absalom stayed at the gate. And when the man, the men would come in, Absalom won the men heart and plot against his father. And the Bible tells me, don't you know that he even cannot prevail? For we are sin abode. Christ does much more about. Am I in the right house? And the Bible tells me that Absalom got caught in his locks and lost his life. And now David rose to the sea. And Saul wanted to kill him. Because if you don't deal with your few past, it's going to ruin your future. Oh, come on, am I in the right house? If you don't deal with them stuff that was stunted you. Is 
gonna mess up. It's gonna mess up some people. They have bad attitude, they show bad character. And they might talk about a semi grandmother used to steal. And a semi grandfather used to steal. A bad spirit. As any man being Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. The Bible says, the Bible says, no, 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 David no rose to a place of authority because David never seek healing. It run down. Didn't get deliverance. Anointed but God, but you have a problem. Gifted, but you have a problem. I'm mm -hmm. and, that, and if you know that you are not delivered, don't, don't seek to go in any meaningful ministry. It will affect it. And David said to God, God, you know, I want to build you a sanctuary, a tabernacle. God said, No, you can't read your hands. I feel with blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I know now Solomon David's son rose to take over. And because David recognized his failure, David called Solomon and said, Solomon, come here. Accept the Lord. Build the house. The laboring field that build it. Not because you make the mistake. Don't allow your children to make the same mistake. Suffer the blows. Don't find them in the right way. Feel up a child in the way he should go. And when he's born, he will not depart. For as for me and my house, we will serve God. Do you, do you know a guy named Jabez? Can I, can I just run quick? This guy named Jabez, I met him this morning. Hallelujah. And the Bible tells me that Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. But his mother called his name Jabez, which means sorrows and tears. I come to tell you. It doesn't matter what they call you. It doesn't matter what they label you. I rose up. Every demon to tell you. I reverse. I'm not talking about 
You know, some people are very gifted, they're very talented, they're full, they're, they're full of charisma, but it seems like they can't get it together. Hallelujah. It's like it's like the apostle Paul. When I desire to do good, he even present itself. Because the things which I should do, I do not, and the things which I should not be doing, that I find myself. me from this body of death and Jabez said God I'm asking you if you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory if you are going to be enlarged you must get close to God if you are going to be enlarged you must get in the realm of the spirit if you are going to get enlarged others. That's why you got to be careful. Hear me, church. Whose family you marry into? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> One of the worst things can ever happen to an individual is to hook up to somebody and still be lonely. Yes, sir. I rather stay alone with my little goldfish than live with somebody and be lonely. That's a serious loneliness. So Jesus said, bless me indeed. <laughs> somebody said, bless me indeed. Somebody said, bless me indeed. Everything your mother should have got and your grandfather should have got that if they were stolen, I receive it in the name of Jesus. The years with the conqueror, the locus and the caterpillar have eaten and it is your season to recover it all by the power of the Holy Ghost. Heal my wounds. Somebody say, Heal my wounds. Heal my wounds. So I don't bleed on others. Now be careful who you attach yourself to. Because somebody, some people are so wounded that if you attach yourself to them, it's a fear like you are wounded too. You carry the burden. You carry the stress. You carry the frustration. But I come to tell you, in this season, everybody attached to me shall be blessed. Everybody attached to me shall be delivered. Because I carry the soul and life of God in me. Let God arise and the enemies be scattered. We are